Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in this video today. Today, although it is April, I am doing a long overdue introduction to my 2024 hair care inventory. So my opening numbers and the goals that I want to hit in 2024 on my hair care. I am after this going to film my empties for quarter one. So that's how late we are with this and that is late too, but better late than never. So let's get on into my opening numbers for my 2024 hair care inventory. Pre-shampoo products, I have three worth a total of $53.66. Shampoo itself, I have seven worth $93.28. Conditioner, I have five worth $103.67. Masks, I have nine worth $172.15. Colour products, I have one worth $31. Heat protectors, I have three, they are worth a total of $52.55. Oil, I have three again, worth $68.75. Serums and treatments, I have three again, that's the magic number apparently, worth $34.34. Pleasing little 34, 34 there. Low dry balm products, I have 13, worth $129.99. Blow dry sprays, I have one worth $30. For hair mousse, I have one worth $27. For dry shampoo slash dry conditioner, which I put into one category, I have four worth a total of $74.79. Texture spray, I have one worth $29. For miscellaneous styling products, so a sort of catch-all category, I have five items in it worth $152. And last but not least for the actual categories, I have four hairsprays and they're worth $52.97. In addition to that, I then have two Asashi samples, which I'm counting as being worth $1 each, so $2. In terms of the totals, my opening 2024 hair care inventory quantity is 65 items. And those 65 items are worth $1,107.15 altogether. Now I've said before, hair care is one that I feel is pretty much under control not exactly, but I feel like by the end of this year it will be. I feel like it's organically going down. I'm not too worried about it, but we are still setting some goals. I am really focused generally on quantity goals this year rather than value-based goals. So my overall goal to start with is I've got 65 products to open the year with and I would like to get that down to 50 or less. I feel that's perfectly doable. But I feel like 50 or less would be a good number to have. In terms of specific categories that I'm setting goals on, shampoo, I have seven and I would like to reduce that to four. For masks, I have nine and I would like to reduce that to five. So reducing that by four, so one a quarter ideally. For blow dry balms, I'm opening at 13. That's obviously my highest category. And I would like to use four again and reduce that to nine. So again, one per quarter. And then dry shampoo slash conditioners, I have four to open with and I'd like to reduce that to two. So one dry shampoo, one dry conditioner. We'll see. I I kind of, I've said that in writing. I do feel to be fair, I could do with like a light, lighter sort of dry shampoo for kind of like day one or just like for a quick kind of zhuzh of the hair. And then like a heavier weight one for like post gym or whatever. If it's a day when I don't have time to wash my hair, you know, before going to work or something like that. So. I could, I could kind of take that back to three, but I've said two, so that's that's what we're going to aim for for the year. So that's pretty much it for hair care. There's not too much to say, not too many goals. I'm going to be honest, uh, I know how my quarter one empties are looking at the moment, which obviously you guys don't. Uh, and I, I'm a little bit, it's kind of put the fear into me a little bit, but I feel like we're going to regroup in quarter two, we're just going to smash through it. So it'll be fine. For the overall year, it's going to be fine. That feeling of like knowing now that I need to focus on it is I think what's going to be quite good about doing the quarterly check-ins. So hence why I had to get the opening numbers up because I am about to do my empties and then I'll actually do my quarter one check-in with you. So that actually shouldn't be too far away, even though you've only just seen the opening numbers. But yeah, that is everything for this video, short and sweet. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.